Using the Image Picker and Image Cropper packages, I'll show you how to allow users to select images from their photo library or device camera, and also enable users to crop the selected images. Let's get into it. In our pub spec, let's add the Image Picker and Image Cropper packages. Image Picker requires some device permission set up on iOS. In our info.plist, there are three keys we can add depending on our app's functionality. The first key is NS Photo Library Usage Description for accessing the device's photo library. The string is the explanation that gets shown to the user when access is requested. Next is NS Camera Usage Description for accessing the device's camera. This is for taking photos and videos. And last is NS Microphone Usage Description for microphone access during video recordings. You can add or remove keys based on what your app needs. No image picker setup is required on Android. But because we're using Image Cropper, we have to add a new activity to our main Android manifest.xml file. Let's handle selecting images and cropping in a helper file called imagehelper.dart. To select images and crop them, we need instances of Image Picker and Image Cropper. The constructor will handle instantiating both Image Picker and Image Cropper if they are not passed in. This is useful because if we wanted to write tests for this file in the future, we have the option to mock image picker and image cropper. Create a method called pickImage that takes in image source and image quality as parameters. Image source is either from the photo gallery or camera. Image quality modifies the quality of the image and ranges from 0 to 100, where 100 is the original or max quality of the image. PickImage returns a future knowable X file. To pick a single image from the photo library, return an awaited image picker.pickImage, passing in the source and image quality. If the user does not pick an image, then null is returned. This code works perfectly for selecting a single image, but we want to be able to pick multiple images too. Add boolean parameter multiple that defaults to false. If multiple is true, then return an awaited image picker that picks multiple images. Because pick multi image returns a list of X files, we should change our return type to a list of X files. And for pick image, we first check if the file is not null and then return the file as the only item in the list. Otherwise, we return an empty list. Let's move on to cropping images. Our crop method returns a knowable cropped file and requires an X file and crop style. Crop style can either be a rectangle or circle. Then we await the crop image method from image cropper, passing in the crop style and path to the file. We can also add additional parameters like compress quality to control the image compression quality, UI settings to set platform specific functionality and styling, and more. Back in main.dart, let's make a new widget called profile image to test out selecting an image and cropping. This is a stateful widget that takes in a string for initials and has a file image for state. Add a circle avatar that displays the initials as text. For the foreground image, we show a file image if the image is not null. Make sure to wrap circle avatar in a centered fitted box with boxfit.contain to scale the image properly in the circle avatar. Below this, we'll add a text button that selects the image. And to save time in this video, I'm going to define image helper as a global variable. However, I recommend using provider or get it for dependency injection instead. The source is automatically set to image source.gallery. Note that image source.camera only works on physical devices, so be sure to use a physical device to test. If a file is selected, then we crop the image with a circular crop and assign the cropped image to the image variable. We can now select an image and crop it. Let's make a similar stateful widget for multiple images where there's a list of files. Display each image by mapping each file to image.file inside of a wrap widget. The text button below picks multiple images from the library and sets the state accordingly. And that's all we have to do for multiple image selection. Image Helper also enables you to record videos using the camera and select videos from the photo library. I'll cover this in a future video, so be on the lookout for that. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and be sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.